After a good night's sleep, everyone was refreshed. First, we documented and photographed the strange horde chameleon we had found the day before. We had kept the chameleon overnight in an exoterra explorarium, which we hung outside the hut. After the photo shoot, we began our second day of exploration and the descent back to near Kalingia. The descent normally takes a few hours, but we plan to take all the time needed to thoroughly search for chameleons and other reptiles. It took us less than an hour to find a female strange horde chameleon and shortly after a young male. The next discovery was an unbelievably colored Johnston's tree horned chameleon, Chameleon Johnstoni. Greens, blues, yellows, even a red orange head. The animal was spotted near the river down a deep slope and we had to form a human chain to capture it in order to properly document and photograph this magnificent animal. While we were all busy admiring its beauty and taking tons of pictures, a porter found a female in a nearby bush. Although hornless, the females are almost as stunning and colorful as the males. We now were close to Mahomi Bridge, about two-thirds of the distance to Niakalengia. We did not see many reptiles from this point on, except for a basking Adolphus Africanus and a pair of chameleon Eliotti. It was already late afternoon when we arrived at our base camp and again the village children welcomed us. We all went to our tents long before the villagers were ready to turn in, at least as far as we could judge by the loud music down the hill. But after all, it was Saturday night. <laughs> 